Good morning, beautiful souls. Heather here. How are you doing today? I want to ask you a question and see if you relate to this. If this resonates with you, leave a comment. Say me. Raise your hand. Say, yeah, that, that, I can relate to that. So have you ever hit rock bottom? Have you ever hit that place where you're just like, oh, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know if things could possibly get any worse than this. Are you in that kind of a place right now? I want to share with you four years ago when I hit rock bottom. I had gone through cancer treatment at the age of 29 while pregnant with our sixth baby. I had doctors look me in the eyes and tell me, Heather, if you don't abort your baby, you're risking your life. It's not going to end well for you. You're not going to make it. Well, I proved them wrong. And here I was with this beautiful new baby, but still in the fight for my life. I had to go through chemotherapy and radiation. In the process, my husband and I, we lost our home. We lost our business. We moved up to his parents' land. And we moved into a camper trailer with our six children living in a camper trailer. I'd never felt so humiliated in my life. And I hit this point where I felt like I had lost my health, I lost our home, I lost our business, I lost my friends, I lost my support, and now my husband was turning to his family for emotional support, and I felt like I was losing my marriage. And I remember one night, I was cooking spaghetti in our camper trailer, our six children around me, and I remember tears just pouring down my face as I'm making this spaghetti and I'm watching as the tears are falling into the spaghetti. I don't know if I even served it. I, if I did, I guess we survived. And I just remember thinking, I can't do this anymore. If I lose my marriage, if I lose my, my husband, I have nothing left. I've already lost everything. And I remember going to him and telling him, Ben, I just need to leave. I can't do this anymore. And it was the first time that either of us had ever said those words. He asked me not to go, and he stood in the camper trailer with tears falling down his face as I got in our Suburban, and I drove away. I left him there, crying with our six kids. You want to know how far I made it? 3.2 miles. That was the first time I'd ever left. That was the only time I've ever left. And I watched that mile counter, 0.10 of a mile, 0.2 of a mile, 0.3 of a mile. And again, the tears are just streaming down my face. And I am asking myself, what am I doing? It got to the point where I couldn't see anymore. So I pulled over 3.2 miles. And I'm in a beautiful, incredible sunflower field. And the sunflowers are just beautiful and golden and bright. And it was such a contrast to the darkness that I felt inside myself. In that moment, I asked myself, Heather, is there another way of looking at this? I realized in that moment that if I left, if I left this marriage, if I left him, that that darkness that was in me, it would stay with me no matter where I went and with whomever I went with. Because that story that I wasn't good enough was what was creating that chaos in my life, was creating that pain. And I realized in that moment that that limiting belief what was, was creating all of that circumstance. So can you relate to that? What is the limiting story that is holding you back, that is holding you in pain? When you can release that story, that is when you can find healing and ultimate happiness in your life.